All right, Coach, uh, thoughts on uh, tonight's game? I'm just really, <clears throat> really proud of our group. Uh, you know, we don't have our leading scorer, and it didn't matter. Like, we just played so hard, and sorry my voice is going out. <laughs> I'm yelling at the rest, but uh, no, we just really battled tonight, competed at a very high level against a very good team. And it's just unfortunate the ball didn't bounce our way or call here or there, but uh, we did a great job. I'm proud of it. And the coach, if you don't mind sharing, what, what was the reason for uh, Sarah Brashear's absence, and what do you think about just the way your team stepped up without her? Oh, I'm really happy for our team. Uh, I, can I say? Uh, she, she'd be out for a little bit, but uh, it didn't matter. Our girls competed. It didn't matter who was out there tonight. And, uh, you know, we had, we had some great looks. You know, Casey's a freshman, and she had some big-time plays for us. Uh, we got a, a very young team, and uh, we're maturing each and every day. And Eva had her best game of her career, 17 points, 8 rebounds against the best post player in the league, arguably. So very proud of her as well. Uh, we'll go ahead, uh, Coach, you guys were wearing some uh, warm-up shirts that read together through this, uh, or through this together. What, what did that uh, meant for your team uh, uh, th during this stretch? Yeah, I think uh, what we've all been through the last two years, you know, we just, our team's getting better and better and they're sticking together. And uh, we're going to make some noise down here the second half through this season. Uh, but we just got to hang in there together, keep battling, keep fighting, keep believing, keep representing UTRGV, and we'll continue to do that. But the shirts are, they're pretty cool and it just help keep us, remind us that what we're here for. Uh, game Saturday and, and Monday at your, your place. Um, what, what does this team need to do? As, as you mentioned, that you might be without Sarah. Uh, so, what does this team need to do to come out with a different result in these next two outings? Well, I think we need to play exactly how we played tonight. We played with great passion, great effort. Uh, we made the same amount of shots they did. We made one more three. They got to the line four more times than that we did. We 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 rebounded exactly the same. The turnovers were exactly the same. So we got to shoot a little bit better. We shot 37% for the game. Uh, and then we got to continue to work on our turnovers. But uh, other than that, I'm really proud of this group. We shouldn't have, we shouldn't have lost this game. It was, uh, it was unfortunate the way it ended. But uh, we can't do anything about it now but turn the page and get ready for Saturday. My question for both Eva and Casey. So in, in, with the absence of the league leading scorer and uh, Sarah tied for the leading rebound, what do you, do you, do you uh, what does the team collectively need to do in, in her absence to, to keep this thing uh, going and, and to get back on the winning track? I, it obviously sucks to have Sarah out. We love her and love playing with her, but I think we passed the ball really well in the first quarter. We came out very unselfish with the ball. Um, Maria made some great passes to Eva down low, and I think if we continue that and not be selfish with it, and continue to give up one more pass for a better shot, not a good or for a great shot, not a good shot, we'll be perfectly fine. I think what was really bad, good for us this game, we all stick together and we really shared the ball really good. Even when it was not going good, we we didn't go down. Our body language was good, and we just fight through it. Eva, it seems like they were finding you down low, open. Uh, how did it feel to be to have that trust from your teammates to, to get the job done? Feel good. I was just doing what coaches asked me to do, just play good defense and doing offense what what they asked me, just loop and when I when it's my turn to put the bucket, just be there to play spot. And Casey, as a freshman coach, you know, leaves you out there for, for minutes and, and minutes, uh, what does that speak of his trust to you, and, and what have you learned so far? A lot. <laughs> um, no, it, it definitely shows that he trusts me, especially running the point guard. Um, but I'm learning, too. I could make all the sh shots in the world, but six turnovers is kind of unacceptable. Um, but I, I think that's my growing process, and for him to leave me out there to get over that slump, so in the next three years as I'm here, I can... Anything else? Yeah. Good. Thanks, sir.